you got it on? Yep. This is Dick Bersley, and he's been a patient of mine for many years, and uh, he actually had a knee replacement. How long ago? January 2009. And uh, since that time, he's been re rehabilitating himself, but um, neurologically, his muscles still aren't firing right, and we're not getting good activation from the top down, from the uh, reticular formation, how it, the tonus of his muscles on this side are a lot less than this, and he's coming in with a lot of back pain now. And um, because of his inability for these muscles to work properly, and so when we test them, if we test this side, turn this on. Does that feel a lot weaker? Oh yeah. Well, turn how this out? Yeah, it's like I can't even. Now, <laughs> if we pull his legs, we're testing like iliac costalis lumborum, multifidus muscles on this side. It's weak. Turn that foot out. It's weak. It's not only going to affect these, but it'll affect the, the extensor muscles on the whole side. So if we test his lat on this side, that'll be weak too. Then you can start having problems with your wrist because of the extensor muscles here. So if you hold his hand back this way, he tries. that's weak also compared to this side. So we've been working with some uh, very specific frequencies to activate muscles to make them work better. And what it does is it activates right at the uh, neuron level at the brain to help increase the frequency of firing of the descending motor tract. So we're going to see if this works on him. I'm going to shut off just a second. I'm going to start. 